Hello everyone, this is Meghnath. Welcome back. In this module, we will learn more about strings, how to work with strings, what are the inbuilt functions that we have in C language, so that we can make use of them in getting our functionality. Right? So let's get started. Let me open code blocks. So in this module, we will learn about how to read a string including spaces using get s and put s and also we'll learn about inbuilt string functions present in a header file called string.h like we have strlen, strcat, strcmp, strlwr, strupr so like this we have so many functions which are used to uh, which are used to work around in uh, with strings so let's get started first we'll learn about get s and put s so this is module 23 working with strings let's get started let me open code blocks and file new empty file and I'll be naming this as 23 dot so now let's save it I'll save it and I'll be saving this as a 23 dot string functions example 1 now first we want to read so what we noticed previously is when we read the string right so we saw that it's not considering the space so now, now let's see this include stdivo.h and and let me put void main and now printf I'm writing here enter any name enter your name and I used to write scanf so before that let's declare here so uh, care of f name I'll put here name and I'll put here 30 characters and scanf we used to write here percent l yes comma ampersand name now when I print it print f percent l uh, yes comma name so we notice that it's not printing with spaces so let's save it and build it and let's run the code now you can see here I'm entering Meghnath uh, ready. So you can see here that it's considering only till the space, it's not considering the full name. So now we have some inbuilt functions which are used to consider the space as well. And those two inbuilt functions are get s and put s. Now that's also present in stdiver.h. Now what we'll do is, now let's uh, remove these two. And now I'll write here get s and I'll write name and then put s I'll write name so let's see whether this works or not let's save it and build it and let's run the code you can see here enter your name I'm writing here my name with space and you can see I'm getting it so so get s is a method which is used to get the name get a string from the user including spaces and put s is a method that will print the name including spaces if you want to print it you can print it right so we just learned about how to use getters and putters now in the second example that we are going to do now we will see we will learn about inbuilt string functions that are present in string.h header file now let's save it let's close it and now new empty file and I'll save it I'll save it as 23 dot string functions example 2 now what I'll do is so now I will include right here include stdivo.h and include um, conivo.h now we are going to include a new header file called include string.h and void main and printf so now I'll declare char character of um, char of f name of f name of 30 characters and comma l name of 30 characters and previously we have learned how to um, how to find length of a string in the previous module we learned how to find length of a string using a for loop now what I'll do is I'll just assign here I'll just assign here make not make not and I'll also assign here okay now what I'll do is I want to find length of this uh, first name so I can just use a inbuilt string function called strlen. So printf, 
length of first name is equal to percent ld comma I can call a function called strlen that's present in string dot h of first name now let's see what will be the answer now so I'll save it I'll build it and no errors warnings let's run the code you can see it's printing length of f9 is 9 characters so you can see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so so there is an inbuilt function which will give you uh, the length of the given string like this now the next one is I want to print the name in lowercase letters lowercase name percent l yes comma str lwr f name now see what happens I'm just typing strlwr. Let's build the code and no errors, no warnings. Let's run the code. So my name is already I've entered in the lowercase. So uh, let's try to enter this in uppercase. Now yum alone I have typed in uppercase. Now let's say this slash yen. I'm just typing slash yen. Now let's see what happens. I'll build this code. Let's run the code. Now you can see here. The name that I entered is M capital, but it's printing in lowercase Meghnada. So similarly, we have uppercase. So all these string functions are present in a header file called string dot h. Now, now I'll put here uppercase. So to convert an uppercase, to convert a string into uppercase, we have a method called strupr. So that will convert to the uppercase. Now let's save it and build it. There are no errors. Let's run the code. You can see here all in uppercase. So, so that string methods strlen will give number of characters in the string strlwr lowercase strupr uppercase and also we have strrev. So printf reverse of string we have something called now for reverse of a string we have strrev of f name. So that will print the reverse of a given string. So let's save it and build it. Let's run the code. You can see here. It's printing in the reverse order of the name. So whatever I have in my name here, that's printing in the reverse order, right? Similarly, we also have um, we also have printf. I want to I want to concatenate two strings, right? So full name uh, full name percentile yes, comma strcat. That's used for string concatenation. F name comma l name. Now let's see what happens now. So I'm using a function called strcat, which is used for string concatenation. It's actually concatenating my first name and last name, and it'll print in place of percent yes. Let's see now. I'll build this code, and there are no errors warnings. Let's run the code. You can see here, it's printing here full name. Now let me, um, because it's it's reversed, right? So it's actually printing in uh, in the reverse, right? So I'll just change it once again. str rev of f name so i'm just changing it back right so now if, now what i'll do is i'll save it and and let me add slash ins here and let's save it and build it and let's run the code you can see here it's printing my full name Meghnada ready so so the function that's used for um, why i've done this strrv is here i'm reversing it i just again reverse it back so that i can concatenate it here so, so, and we also have one more method to compare the strings. So that is strcm, strcmp. So printf. I'm just typing here percentile d, percentile d comma, strcmp of f name comma, l name. Now what this strcmp will do is, so let's try to see. Uh, now if two strings are equal, abc, and I'll write here abc. So strcmp, if two strings are equal, that will return zero. This will return zero. Now let's save it. Um, let's add a couple of slashes here. Now let's say this. I'm saving it. And let's put after this as well. Now let's save it and build the code. Let's run the code. Now you can see that it's zero. So when strcmp is string comparison written zero, that means both the strings are equal. Now when I put here b, B or BBC and here ABC. So this is this is this is after this A. So this will actually subtract. So you'll get answer as one now. So if this string comes after this string, that will give one. So let's save it and build it. Let's run the code. You can see it's giving one. Even if we put here Z also, this will even come uh, after this A. 
so now this is z z minus a is something positive so that will be that will be still one so build it build it and let's run the code you can see that it's still printing one or if you're trying to compare here um, here if you have uh, bbc and here if you have a zbc now b minus z is something negative so it will give minus one now so let's build the code let's run the code you can see here minus one so where do you use string comparison is you can use it in if condition string comparison to compare two strings right so so what we learned now is we learned um, get us and put us in this module and we also learn different string functions that are available in string header file strlen, strlwr, strupr, strrev, strcat and strcmp. So these are some of the most widely used string functions that we will need to use in C programming. So I hope you are clear with string functions and working with arrays and in the next module we will learn about in the next module we will learn about uh, inbuilt math functions that are available in C language. Okay. So thank you and see you in the next module.